Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moo here. This is just a quick little recommendation on a one of those cases that you can find on Amazon. This is actually the one that I use. There is no specific name that I can kind of give you. So I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to link down below exactly this one and also the uh, talk about some of the features you're looking for in case this one is not available by the time you look at this video. All right, so there's two components to this. And interestingly enough, uh, this piece actually came from a different kit for the GoPro Fusion. I got it separately because I found this thing cheaper with a whole entire other case along with it. So this is just a little lens cap that fits on both ends. They're all pretty much made the same. There's a bit of a uh, silicone, uh, it kind of fits like a rubber band on top over here. There's a little thick side here, which is great because um, the one time that I dropped this, while I was playing um, some game with my nephew while waiting at a restaurant, uh, this thing just whacked, hit the floor, and that could have really damaged the lens. But luckily, this was on, and I didn't have that problem because I dutifully slid this right back on uh, when I decided that I wasn't gonna record anything anymore, and this just kind of fell off from about three or four feet smack down and literally no damage whatsoever. So this this little lens case thing that you can also find from other places is pretty good. This part is pretty thick and it goes right over lens very well. And I, I actually found that I could use this with or without this silicone uh, case thing around it. All right, so as I said, the silicone case was separate and the package that I got did not have the lens cover on top of it again. So there's little cutouts here, as you can see right here for the microphones, a uh, special cutout over here to um, access the charging port right there, which also snaps in and snaps off, snaps in and out of the GoPro. All right. Now uh, I saw some other silicone cases that did not have this cutout. So you want to be uh, very careful in looking at the pictures that they have there because if you need to charge or access it without taking off the case, it's gonna be pretty annoying uh, not having that there. So the cheaper one that this other case came, I mean, the, the lens cover case did not come with it. So I had to be really careful and vigilant in looking at the pictures to ensure that this piece was on here. Okay, this is supposed to snap in. I'm gonna snap this in carefully later. So I'm gonna leave that off. And then of course, got the center cut out over here. Um, this one does not have a cutout here for me to see the uh, recording light. That didn't really matter to me anyway, since I didn't really care if I had it on. You can kind of see through it in the dark, but it, it helps to uh, remove some of the glare that might happen if you're just trying to be less noticed um, when you're in an environment where you're recording. Of course, you can always turn off the lights themselves or in a GoPro, but that is an important consideration if you are recording this outdoors and you want this thing flashing all the lights in the world to make sure you're not missing that recording moment. Um, but it's got, it's got this indentation here, so it's very easy to tell with your fingers whether or not um, you press the button to start recording. And of course, this, this part here that juts out a little bit to let you know that that's the main button over there. And then this is left wide open, of course, so that you can uh, go ahead and easily access the battery and the micro SDXC slots there. And that, that has never gotten in the way. Another important thing is that this does not seem to affect the performance, the optical performance at all of the GoPro Fusion. The case does not show up at all in, in, in this case. Another thing you probably wonder is, will this cause this overheat? And I found that I did not notice a difference whatsoever with this on versus with this off. Okay. Now the audio quality of this coming out wasn't all that great to begin with. I imagine this kind of affects it in the same way where it does not improve it. It might hurt a little bit, but I couldn't tell because the audio quality from the GoPro Fusion is not really the best if you're trying to focus on someone's voice since this is 360 degrees spatial, uh, spatial sound. Okay, now I'll just briefly show how this gets in and gets out of the case. It's really simple. See, you just have an opening there. The whole thing slides in and out. Um, I've taken this underwater and uh, had no problem at the pools, uh, no issues at all. There is one thing here 
that um, this does not protect is the screen. So this screen could get scratched up here. I, I suggest getting a separate other film that you stick on top of the screen here in case you want to keep this in more pristine condition. And some of you might ask, well, uh, you know, Mike, why do you cover this all like this? Well, I, I just like to keep my equipment fairly well protected. Note that these lenses are not easily replaceable or serviceable unless you go for the GoPro Plus service plan, in which case they will uh, cover the repair for you. So this is one way that I can help prolong the use of my equipment in case I accidentally damage it in some way or accidentally drop it or put it in some sort of scenario where I definitely don't want it to be um, so that uh, I don't ruin the unit completely. Because these are non-user serviceable, unlike the Garmin Verb 360, which is, you know, you could just buy a new lens and stick this on. This is not something that, uh, that you're going to easily be able to do without sending it in the GoPro. Uh, because they have all the parts, etc. Okay, well that's it for this quick video about my case for the GoPro Fusion. Please give it a like, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. If you are interested in seeing what some of the things I've captured with the GoPro Fusion, uh, nothing, nothing too major or dramatic so far. Um, but I have that all on my VR playlist, and you'll you'll be able to see um, down in the description notes, uh, which VR camera I use to capture it. All right. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.